Here, I am presenting you the video of ribs and vertebra of human body which are duly labeled for better understanding. The bones name are labeled in orange and its parts in blue. The vertebral bodies are categorized into four groups from cephalic to caudal end that is cervical, thoracic, lumbar and sacrococcyx. Coming to the cervical vertebras, the uppermost vertebra is atlas which is our first cervical vertebra and the second cervical vertebra is known as axis. Superiorly projecting bony element from the body of axis is known as the dense or odontoid process. It forms anteriorly an articular facet for anterior arch of atlas. The first cervical vertebra rotates around the odontoid process to provide the largest single component of lateral rotation of the cervical spine. Now you see the superior articular facet of axis for the corresponding inferior articular facet of atlas. Similarly, you see the atlas also has a superior articular facet for occipital condyle which is present above the atlas and helps in neck rotation. Atlas does not have a vertebral body. As you see, there are total 7 cervical vertebras. The thoracic vertebra, caudal to it, are 12 in number. Thoracic vertebra consist of the body, arch, costovertebral joint and facet joint. This is the thoracic cage, which is also known as the rib cage. In the midline of the thoracic cage, most superiorly is the sternal notch, below it is the manubrium, meeting inferiorly with the body of the sternum at the sternal angle. The lowermost part of the sternum is, all, is called rhyphoid process. Meanwhile, you can also see 12 bony ribs and 10 coastal cartilage attached to the different parts of the sternum anteriorly. Out of the 12 ribs, the two lowermost ribs are called hanging ribs as they are not attached to the sternum with any coastal cartilage. Each bony rib includes the head, the neck, body or shaft, tubercle and angle. The head of the rib lies next to a vertebra. The ribs connect to the vertebra with two costovertebral joints, one on the head and one on the neck. After the 12th thoracic vertebra, there are 5 lumbar vertebra. In between two sequential vertebras is an intervertebral disc. An intervertebral disc is the shock absorbing structure between each vertebra. The disc has a thick outer layer called annulus that surrounds the soft gel like center called as nucleus. With Degenerative disc disease, the intervertebral disc shrinks in height and bulges out into the surrounding spinal canal. Now, you see each lumbar vertebra with its different parts, the body with two lateral transverse process, the superior articular facet and inferior articular facet present superiorly and inferiorly respectively. The vertebral lamina and spinous process are visible on the posterior side. Below L5, that is lumbar vertebra 5, there is a bony structure known as promontory, which is a part of sacrum. 
the five sacral vertebras in human body are fused together to form transverse ridges at the site of fusion the lowest vertebra which is known as coccyx is one in number